Hello friends, I welcome all of you to my channel Vagera Vagera. In this video, I am going to show you that how can how you can install HP LaserJet 1020 into your computer. The method I am showing to you is very much easy. I am performing this method on Windows 7, but I am hopeful that this method will equally work on Windows 10. In the case of Windows 10, you will have to make some adjustments and selection and I will tell you about those adjustments and selection during this video. First of all, make sure that cable of the printer is connected with your computer or laptop. And I also request you that don't skip this video so you can install the driver for HP LaserJet 1020 into your computer. Let's start our main video. Hit the Windows icon in left bottom corner of your screen. Then click Devices and Printers. A new dialog box will appear and it is appearing slowly as my computer is little bit slow. From here add a local printer. And here comes a new dialog box from where you will have to select Add a local printer. And here is the most important step. From where you will have to make some selections. Click this button, a drop down menu will appear. This drop down menu is showing the number of ports that are available for your printer. If you are installing the driver on Windows 7, you will have to select DOT4 underscore 001. And if you are installing the driver on Windows 10, you will have to select USB. 001 USB 001 In the case of Windows 10 you will have to select DOT4 port and in the case of Windows 10 you will have to select USB 001 If there are more than one DOT4 port you will have to select the DOT4 port with the highest number for example you are having two DOT4 ports one is DOT4001 and the other is DOT4002 you will have to select DOT4002. If there is more than one USB ports, you will have to select the USB port with the highest number. For example, there are two ports, one is USB001 and the other is USB002. You will have to select USB002. Then click Next. After hitting the next button, this kind of dialog box will appear. In this dialog box, you can see there are the two columns. One column is of manufacturer and other is of printers. From the manufacturer column, you will have to select HP, which is the manufacturing company of the printer HP LaserJet 1020. Then you will have to hit Windows Update button as the, H the printer HP LaserJet 1020 is a very old printer and HP does not provide driver support for this printer. That is why we will have to go for an alternate option. And the alternate driver that we will, that we will use for HP LaserJet 1020 is of HP LaserJet 3055. But it is possible that the, the driver of HP LaserJet 3055 is not available in this list. So you will have to hit the Windows Update button. When you hit the Windows Update button, it will take several minutes and you will have to be very much patient. When your Windows list of drivers is updated, then you will have to search for HP LaserJet 3055. As I have already updated my list of printers, so I do not need to update it. That is why I am searching for HP LaserJet 3055. And here it is. You will have to select HP LaserJet 3055 PCL5. PCL is the abbreviation of print control language, which is a printing language. And PCL5 is the most suitable language for Windows operating system. 
then click next and from here you will you will also have to click next click next and from here you can change the name of your printer as you are not installing HP LaserJet 3055 but you are installing HP LaserJet 1020 that is why you can change the name of the printer from here then after clicking two or three next buttons you will be able to install the printer into your computer as I do not need to install this printer into my computer so I'm not clicking next but if you need to install the driver for the printer HP LaserJet 1020 into your computer you will have to click two or three next buttons and driver will be installed into your computer thank you guys